welcome back to Maxine's Corner. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make chia pudding. If you loved my overnight oats recipe, then you're going to absolutely love, 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 love this chia pudding. Now, chia seeds are loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, which are great to help fight heart disease. It's also packed full of fiber, which is going to help keep you full longer. I'm also going to show you how to make my no-bake granola, which you could sprinkle on top. In order to make the chia pudding, you're going to need chia seeds, as you may see here. Then you're going to need milk. Now you can use any milk that you choose. You can use almond milk. I use almond vanilla. And you can use coconut milk. So whichever milk you would like to use, you can go ahead and use it. Again, I used almond vanilla, but you can use coconut if you choose to do so. And that's going to be your main base. In order to make the, the chocolate, you're going to need some cacao powder. This is what I use to get the, the chocolate pudding together. And the next thing that you're going to need is you're going to need mason jars. These mason jars could be bought anywhere. I'm using the small little mason jars. I can leave a link down below of where I get these and you can pick them up. You can pick them up anywhere, Walmart. 99 cent store anywhere that you can find them they will be there you're gonna need this because we are meal prepping breakfast in the morning you're gonna grab it and you're gonna run out the house so in order to make my delicious granola i'll show you it's so yummy to sprinkle on top of the chia pudding all you're gonna need is some coconut spray and i pretty much just spray this in the pot and then i add my ingredients with some honey now the honey that i use is the raw unfiltered honey and this is the honey i use once again what i'm gonna do for you guys is i'm gonna leave links down below if you want to buy them through amazon you could go ahead and buy them if you want to go to your local grocery store and buy these ingredients you can also do that but it's real simple and easy so let's take a look at this chia pudding and see what it looks like Once you put your chia seed inside of your milk, I want you to go back 30 minutes and stir it again. Sometimes the whole thing will clump together and it'll look like a big clump. So you have to just continuously stir the whole thing so it won't clump together. Once you do that, you put it in the refrigerator and you take it out. It's going to look something like this. Okay. So this is what it's going to look like. Okay and that's gonna be your base for the chocolate now the vanilla is pretty much going to look like this see that now this is what your vanilla is going to look like and once again this is your base and once you have this together you could pretty much put whatever you want to put inside of it chia pudding please tag me at maxine's corner and instagram so i can see what they look like don't forget to like my facebook page and let's see what they look like right so this is the vanilla chocolate and i put my granola on top look at it look at it right it looks so good i'm not gonna eat this right now because i actually want to save it for my breakfast for tomorrow so i'm just gonna maybe just one of the fruit mm -hmm. 
And what you can do, you can put the fruits on it in the morning when you're ready to eat. Okay. And then, excuse me. <laughs> and the next one is just the chocolate chia pudding. I'll show you that one. And this is my delicious granola that I made. I'm going to leave the recipe down below so you guys can make it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you love this video, give it a big thumbs up. Any questions for me, leave it down below. And what? Stay healthy.